I'm John Hinkle, Senior Pastor of First Presbyterian Church here in downtown Murfreesboro on the corner of College of Spring. It is your Monday morning wake-up call. Uh, I, was, I was talking to my brother-in-law the other day, and I was actually telling him, you know, it's so, it's so interesting to me what happens kind of in the life of the church uh, I talk about this in my proclamation article, in the, but once Easter happens, we kind of see this this shift uh, in just in just the flow and ebb of the church life. It's just it's just kind of interesting to me uh, where you know we only have two more wonderful Wednesdays to go. Charlotte and I are talking about summer events. We're talking about vacation Bible school. We're talking about project transformation, summer stuff. As I said in the proclamation, it, you know, it's not that the church is less busy, it's just a different busy. And that's truly uh, what's going on here now uh, for many of our staff members as they're, they're making that switch. Uh, but in the meantime, wonderful Wednesday uh, is this Wednesday. Please make your reservations today. Uh, remember, just a reminder, uh, if you can't stay with us for dinner and you need a to-go box, please call the church office in advance to let them know. If not, then we just, we, we, we'll get to you when we get to you. We'll, you'll need to sit in the common room and, and wait until, uh, our volunteers, uh, and I emphasize volunteers, they're not, we don't pay them. <laughs> they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart, much like we talked about in my Sunday sermon. Right, so you be be patient with them as they're patient with you, and uh, uh, but if you know you can't stay for dinner, please call the church uh, so we can at least be prepared for that. Uh, so wonderful Wednesday, uh, we're finishing up my wonderful Wednesday class. Only two more classes are filmed this week. Is Brittany runs a marathon? Just FYI, there's adult language, but you're mature people. So surely it's nothing you've never heard before. Uh, so just, but I'm, someone thought I should give a warning, a trigger warning, uh, but I'm sure y'all have heard worse. So anyway, uh, Brittany Runs a Marathon is our film focus this, this Wednesday. Uh, first Friday food drive is this Friday. I know everybody who was in church will remember Bob Hunt. We're looking for children friendly foods. Uh, things that children can uh, easily have access to in the absence of their parents. Uh, I haven't gotten verification, but I think I have been told that the COVID food programs have ended. So where children could have go to uh, certain schools to eat uh, lunch, that has ended. So this is more important now than ever. If you haven't participated in First Friday Food Drive, it is a easy way to participate in mission. Uh, and it's a way that you would have a huge impact. So family-friendly children foods. And then uh, last but certainly not least, uh, our mission trip uh, to Nicaragua begins May 3rd. Please keep everybody in your prayers. How wonderful is that? Uh, I cannot tell you. I mean, I, I mean, just that list of people who came up front is so amazing. Only one, I think only one person, uh, Judge Travis Lampley, uh, has gone to Nicaragua before. Everybody else is, is uh, it is their first time. And, uh, and I'm kicking myself that I did not think of have, about having Luis pray for our team. Uh, but if you haven't met Luis, uh, Luis was a former Young Life staff member. Get to know Luis. He's fantastic. He loves our church. We love him. Uh, that's it. Uh, I, I mean, if you look at my desk, oh my Lord, it's just filled with two things I've got to get done. Uh, it's just busy here. Y'all take care.